Madam Speaker, I want you to, you to take a pen because we have to do some math. And this is the time that we as a nation, we should now start taking stock of what has been happening. What has been wrong, we say enough is enough. And that is a CDF, Madam Speaker. Mr. Speaker, when the former senator or the, the former member of parliament from um, as a, a constituency in Nyandarwa, Mr. Karue, came with CDF, that was the beginning of devolution. What was, he was trying was to devolve services to the people. So when devolution came, CDF should have died a natural death. Because that is devolution. Madam Speaker, and it has been said here, can you imagine the government gives you money to go pay government? That is bursary. It gives you money to go pay a government school. And I want us to do the math, Madam Speaker. Take a pen, take a pen, Madam Speaker. Every constituency in their CDF, they have over 50 million for bursary, Madam Speaker. If you multiply 50 million times 249, uh, constituencies, uh, 290 constituencies, Madam Speaker, you'll get over 20 billion Kenya shillings. Every county has, every governor has an education bursary fund which they put between 200 million to 300 million. If you do an average of 300 million multiply by 47 counties, you get again over 20 billion Kenya shillings. The billion, over 20 billion Kenya shillings. That is 40 billion or 50 or 60. If you add the GAF, the women rep, they also have bursary. The president has bursary. The governor has bursary. We will get almost 80 billion Kenya shillings. Madam Speaker, why don't we just give this money to schools and make education free, yeah. Madam Speaker? Why don't we take it direct to the schools and make high school education free of charge? I don't have to give an MP money to come and bring it to the village. We have M-Pesa. Madam Speaker, there's an issue of Kera. Kera, Madam Speaker, and I'm speaking as the chairman of roads and transportation in the Senate. We should dis disband Kera and make sure this money goes to the counties, Madam Speaker. It's better to deal with one thief than 290 of them, Madam Speaker. This money, let's go to the governors. We are seeing governors are stealing. We are here as a Senate to make sure that they don't. It's better to deal with one thief than talk or deal with more than 280 thieves, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, we are even asking ourselves, if the governors, and I, I had the Senator of Isiolo, and also I have had the same cases here, that the governors are not uh, respecting the Senate. Madam Speaker, if the governors are not respecting the Senate, we have tried to find them. They are paying the money within a day. We have tried to tell the police to arrest. The IG cannot arrest them. Why don't we as a Senate also say we are going to change the rules and the laws that we can also emanate with the motion to impeach a governor from this house, Madam Speaker? Because what we do, we all know wait for the MCAs to bring them. So if the MCA never bring them here, this house that is mandated, that is mandated to check the interests of a county should also come with a motion to impeach a certain governor who is not respect this house and who is stealing and who is taking money home, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, as I conclude, because I, I, I am a man of few words, Madam Speaker, I would urge the executive and I urge the cabinet secretaries, those who are going to survive, Madam Speaker, from the sacking, because it must happen, Madam Speaker. I'm telling them, focus on creating jobs. It's better to go on a muddy road when you have money in the pocket. It's better to go for the water in the river when you have money in the pocket, Madam Speaker. It's better, Madam Speaker, to go. Uh, 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 what I'm trying to say is, when it comes to development, Madam Speaker, and you had said that, Madam Speaker, it must be people-centric. Go with the money to where they are and ask them, I have 20 million here. Do you want me to make this road? Do you want me to make this, uh, to bring water? Or do you want me to create an industry here so that everybody will have something in the pocket? They will say, create an industry and we get money. Then we'll discuss that when it comes to uh, roads, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, picketing that we saw for the first time here, it was very
peaceful at the beginning. And the reason why it was very peaceful, because that is when only Gen Z were on the road, Madam Speaker. And they were picketing, taking selfies, recording themselves uh, on camera. And that is to show it can be done. And that's why I'm supporting those who are saying that we should bring along and have picketing corners, picketing roads. We should even have a picketing authority, Madam Speaker, that receives every picket, uh, every petition. When somebody comes, they come where picketing corner, there is an office, you receive it and you follow it through, Madam Speaker. Because what happens when it comes to this place, Madam Speaker? Sometimes people do not even know. Because we do things in, in, in you know, very quiet. And that's why people are worried. They were saying senators have just become clever overnight. No, we have been like this. It's only that they show MPs on KBC every day. We do not share equal platform. And that's why we should also say, anybody who is speaking here, Madam Speaker, if National Assembly is given 20 minutes, we should get 20 minutes on the KBC, which is the National Broadcaster, Madam Speaker. Otherwise, they just show the National Assembly, they don't show what we do here. People have to go to YouTube, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I would want to talk to the public service, and especially the CS, if he survives, Madam Speaker. It's good to advise him if he still retains his, 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 his uh, position, Madam Speaker. In Dubai, they have a ministry called the Ministry of Happiness. It even have a CS or a cabinet secretary. And people thought the Ministry of Happiness was to have a, somebody who will come to your house and crack jokes and make you happy. No. And that's why I'm suggesting to the CS Moses Kuria, in your public service, create a department called Happiness Department. Why am I saying that, Madam Speaker? That is to check whether everybody is happy with the services they are getting to the public service. By the time you go to get your passport, Madam Speaker, before you leave that office, there must be somewhere you press to say, I was served well, I was not served well, and this person is very rude. And then it goes direct to the ministry, Madam Speaker. If you go to get your driving license, you must, before you leave that office, were you served well, and then you click somewhere, it goes to the department, not to that office. That office wouldn't even know. They will only know when the PS, uh, the CSs will come to your office knocking, saying, my friend, so many people are complaining. So we get rid of you. Even us, Madam Speaker, I've gone to Israel. And Israel, at the gate of the parliament, when you get in, there's a very big screen that says who is in parliament and who is not. So when you get in there, you'll be able to know whether the person who you sent to parliament to represent you is in or not, Madam Speaker. And it is shown every day. So that we can be able to be here, Madam Speaker, and fight for our people. But sometimes we come in, then we go, we are seen in the village, we are trying to balance uh, things, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I would want to tell Gen Z, when you are done with the national government, and I believe uh, so far so good because you have been listened to, Go to the counties. Go to the counties and join your senator. Pick their, pick their hands. Go to the counties. Why am I saying that? Because the governors there, they are using the public money that were deducted from you through the previous uh, uh, finance bill. That money was taken and given to your county. Kambu has been given 15 billion within this financial year. But what the governors are doing in those counties, they are giving your mothers and your fathers handouts. I'm talking to Gen Z. They are giving your mother sweet uh, potato vines to go plant, handouts, two chicken here, handouts, a fish there, handout, so that your fathers and mothers can think these governors are working and they do not look, look at it when these governors are eating into Gen Z's future, Madam Speaker. So that's why I'm saying we should also join hands and ask for accountability. As for accountabilities at the county level, Madam Speaker. So, Madam Speaker, I call everybody, either Gen Z, either Millennials, either Generation X, either the silent generation, which is also in this house, Madam Speaker, because we are lucky we have almost every generation in this house, and that is good for democracy, Madam Speaker, that we should now talk and we should not run for, uh, uh, fight for simplicity but we all need to do, all we need to do is fight for the future of this country and make sure that the decisions that we make have consequences that are useful 
to the uh, coming generation, Madam Speaker. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker.